Some of you might be like, hey Angelo, what is going on? Every week, different setup. Not even every week, every video. Different setup, different room probably. No, it's the same room. Uh, I'm just trying to utilize the daylight as much as possible because it is what it is, boys and girls. It is what it is. Sometimes you need to work with what you have. But with that being said, let's just jump into it. Smackdown Live. Is it Smackdown Live now or it's more like Smackdown? I don't know. I, I'm gonna say Smackdown Live because it's my show. Smackdown Live Talk or Smack. Anyway, let's just jump into it. As I said, first match. No, it's not a match, but the show was open by Roman Reigns coming out and right when his spiral was about to hit, LA9, the song hit, he disrespected Roman after that, they were about to sign a contract, and you know how Roman is sitting on the table, and he's basically ahead of the table in the contract signings as well, Paul Heyman was about to set up that, and LA Knight set on the place of Roman. Again, disrespect, again, amazing segment. LA Knight was cutting a great promo. Roman just beat the shit out, the, out of LA Knight after this. Jimmy attacked LA Knight, all that good stuff. And at the end of the night, we're gonna have LA Knight versus Jimmy Uso. What uh, better thing can happen, you know? Next up, we have the continuation of the saga of LWO versus the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. And this whole thing will probably end up by the Street Profits being on top. So basically being like one on one and basically they're gonna have probably a third match, but Carlito Santos Escobar didn't manage to beat the Street Profits. By the way, the Street Profits are having a new theme song I don't enjoy it that much. I'm gonna get closer to the camera because it's getting darker and darker and I need to use every single second I have. But they kind of have a new finisher, Dawkins and Montes. It's a, it's a modified version of a 3D, 1D, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, the Street Profits won. I'm looking forward to a match between LWO and the Street Profits so that we even the things out and after that the third match. After that, Shotzi and Chelsea Green, because Shotzi talked with Nick Aldis, which, and he was also talking with Chelsea Green and Piper Niven and some sort of shtick was happening because Chelsea Green was uh, complaining that no one is thinking about her and uh, Shotzi was like, hey Nick, I have a great idea, why don't you put me against Chelsea Green? And basically that match happened and do you know what happened? Shotzi won. I never expected this to happen in a million years. I'm really happy for Shotzi. Maybe this is the kickoff for Shotzi. Maybe this is the moment we're gonna see Shotzi beat the world, you know? You know what I'm trying to say? Exactly, I don't know either. After that, we had an amazing promo by John Cena and Paul Heyman. I, I, I was really touched by it. It was really nice because John Cena came out and he was like, do I still got it? Do I still got it, guys? Because he, he is having a match with Solo Sikoa, with Crown Jewel. And basically, Paul Heyman came out and he was like, John, you should have stick with the mic stuff and you could have been good as me and all of that stuff and it was a good promo it was so good i re whenever i was watching this promo i remember the promo between paul Heyman and cody rhodes like before roman reigns and cody rhodes match at wrestlemania it was so good and after that the whole segment uh solo sikoa came out and he simon spike john cena and in theory uh, from all the words that Paul said, John Cena is not able to talk right now. So I'm really curious what's gonna happen next week. Is John gonna be able to talk? I'm really curious what is gonna happen. I'm crying, yes. After that, an impromptu match, but an interesting one. Cedric Alexander versus Dragon Lee. It was really interesting match. It was really entertaining. These guys gave everything they had in my opinion at the end of the match they gave respect to each other with a handshake of course dragon lee won but it was entertaining nonetheless i'm gonna 
keep coming closer and closer, but it's getting really dark anyway. I'm gonna try to fix this post production, you know, uh, and uh, yeah, really interesting match. You should go and watch it, in my opinion. It was really good. As I said, Dragon Lee won. The main event, LA Knight versus Jimmy Uso was not as entertaining as Dragon Lee vs. Cedric, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it was a good match, nonetheless, I was not disappointed, LA Knight delivered, Jimmy Uso delivered, and uh, at the end, LA Knight won clean, of course, he's the challenger, of course, he's gonna win, and at the end, Roman tried to spear him again after the match, but LA Knight countered and basically, he BFT'd him, uh, uh, LA Knight BFT Roman, if you didn't understand what I was trying to say, uh, and uh, LA Knight got the upper hand, which makes sense, before the crown jewel, I'm really curious what's gonna happen the Friday night before the crown jewel, and basically I feel like LA Knight is gonna get the upper hand again, so that it makes sense that Roman beats him up at crown jewel, I kind of don't feel like uh, they're gonna give the title to LA Knight, so yeah. With all of that being said, if I was rating SmackDown, I would have given it a solid 7.2 out of 10. Uh, the, all the segments were great, the Shotzi match I liked, the Dragon Lee match I liked. Do you know what? I'm gonna give it even 8. 8 out of 10, nothing to complain. It was not a great show to give it 9 or 10, so yeah, it was a good show nonetheless. I didn't feel anything bad happening necessarily so thank you guys so much for watching you barely see me now maybe i'm not gonna add anything post-production so you can feel what i feel right now with all of this light just getting away from me thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time or tomorrow for collision peace